Hello and welcome to Tech 18. So in our previous video, we have seen about the running sum, how we can able to do that. But here there is one challenge comes up. Usually when you're working with visual calculations, the running sum works only based on the column which we have on the left side. Like here, we can see the tires and tubes, the helmets, the bottles and cages kind of thing. It's sort, it sort based on that itself. It actually doesn't sort based on the internet sale here. So as you can see it here on the top, the running sum is actually showing a different value here. Even though I sort this descending order based on internet sale, but it, the value which is showing up here is not as per our expectation. Even though this is changing dynamically based on the axis which you are adding up here and the row section in the matrix, for example, but it is not changing as per that logic here. I mean, the sorting of the internet sale here in this case. Even though if I just change this here, let's go back to the report and I can see it here sorted by accessories here. Now you can see the value showing up here perfectly right, which makes sense. But if we sort this by internet sale here, which we usually do to sort our graphs like, so it actually doesn't work in that way for now because it is still into you. Maybe it will come in future, but there is a workaround for that. We don't need to worry about that. So and we can apply the workaround for now in order to apply this running sum here. As you can see it here on the third one, which is I just given a name as Pareto run here because we have a concept about Pareto chart, which I have also made a video on that. which basically tells the story about the 80 percent compared to the 20 percent of this value. So here in this case, which covers the most, we can talk about that in a separate video. You can also refer to that video as well. But in general, how this calculation works, we are, we are going to look into that now. So usually let's go back to this running sum, which is the usual way where I have this running sum, internet sales and then the lowest parent. So if you want to go a level deeper into about running sum calculation, I recommend you to watch the previous video so that you can understand better. Now let's look into this Pareto one, which I used another calculation. And here instead of using the running sum, I used here window function. Basically that's the important thing here. Um, so far I have not covered the windows functions on my channel, but here I will try to cover as much as possible. If based on your requirement, if you need a separate video on the windows function as well, I will also try to make a video on that. So please let me know in the comment section below if you need that or not. All right, so here what I'm actually doing here, window function basically returns a table and I'm just using a sum max based on the internet sale here. So if I go back to the documentation of the windows function, um, let's open up this one. Yeah, here you go. All right, so here you can see returns multiple rows which are positioned within the given interval. All right, so here there are some parameters here which is from from type to two type relation kind of thing. So let's go back to this visual and I will go one by one. So when I just open up this window function, it's actually talking about from. So from where I need to begin this calculation. So I'm asking it to start from the row one. So it needs to start from the row one calculation here. Okay, so and then we have a from type here. Basically the type is basically we have a two thing. One is absolute, another is relative one. So absolute one, it will just stick to that one particular thing. Like we used to do a dollar symbol on the Excel formula. So it stays over their particular cell. Similarly, so we are just asking this to stay at absolute means it will stay at first row itself and then it will make the other calculations accordingly. Similarly, I have this relative for the zero. Zero is nothing but the current row. And then here it has to be relative. Relative means it will be changed accordingly. So right now the first one uh, here on the top, you can see the first one is 245. And then the next one is 225. It will pick up automatically 225. So here this will have a on the first case for the tire center, it will be just one record, which is 245. When it comes to the second row, it will have a two record 245 for this one and then 225 for the current one. Similarly, if it goes to the third one, it will have a three values inside to this one. Now I'm just sorting this by and, and then we have another options which we have here. So all are kind of optional itself, only the from and to is uh, mandatory on this particular window function. But here the next we have a relation and then order by and blanks here. So here I am not to use the relation. I will talk about that after this one. And the next what we have it here order by. So I'm just order by, which is usually order by internet sale and descending order. So this is the place where I am asking this function to sort the internet sale by descending order. Even though this is not a kind of dynamic, but static itself I can say, uh, because usually we used to sort this by 
at a visual level sort by internet sales or sort by category but here it's a hard code itself for now maybe it will change in future so we are just typing it here as a order by this internet sale descending order and this actually fulfills our requirement as well and that's it i just use only these functions um, for now and we have the plans partition by match by and reset about that um, so after doing all this one i'm getting a table multiple rows here and I'm using a sumx here so that it can go row by row calculation. That's the usual way of the sumx work. And sumx and then internet sales. Way. So that's the reason it is actually now starting it by this descending order way. So sumx by this way. And if I go back to the report now, and here it is now starting up to categories here, accessories and subcategories uh, like bike racks, bike stands here. And you can see this value here and running sum is also looks perfectly fine. Whereas the Pareto run column, which we have manually modified the calculation to be uh, by order date, I mean by internet sales descending way. So the value showing up here is not regular. But if we sort this internet sales in a descending order and we can able to see this value showing up here perfectly right. Um, so that's how it actually works now. And but the running sum is actually showing up a different value here. Because if you need this kind of value, then you can use this running sum. If you need to sort the value by internet sales, then you need to use this window function to do that. So this is how one of the options where you can use that. And if we go to the window function here, we have a type here relation. So if I zoom here, a table expression from which the output rows are written, if we specified all columns in partition by must come in or related table, if omitted, order by must be explicitly specified. So default to all selected of all the columns in order by and partition by here. That's how it actually works. And all order by and partition by expression must be fully qualified column names and come from a single table. That's how the limitations here for this relation one. And if I go to the blanks, it's usually the same way how you want to keep the blanks. Uh, currently, only supported div value is default, so it will change in future as well. Um, where the behavior for numerical values is blank values are ordered between zero and negative values. And partition by and also the match by optional class containing column that define how to match data and identify the current row. So this may not be useful in visual calculation, but it can be useful in another way in outside the uh, visual calculations because there are two things here right now, right? So we have a calculate column uh, measures here and the visual calculations. So sometimes sometimes will work something something will work on the visual calculation and something will not work on visual calculations here. So that's also we need to keep in mind. Now, if you want to look into the percentage of Pareto, so how it was calculated. So I just need to click on edit here and edit calculations. This is another DAX function where I used here. So here I use the Pareto run divided by collapse all function where the collapse all actually returns the value of the total for that particular category. I'm going to cover that collapse all function in our future video series. I recommend you to watch that video series because that actually has a lot of things which you need to learn inside to that collapse all function. But for now, I'm just taking the total of this particular category and then divide that by particular thing so that we can get percentage value here. As you can see it here on this one, which is actually this one, the Pareto run, which is the 1028207, is actually divided by 1040, which is showing up 98 percentage here. And if we sort this by internet sale or the descending order here in this chart, uh, let's sort this by descending order here. Yeah, now you can see, for example, this one 172 divided by 1040 is showing up here 61 percentage, which is actually covers that and 80 percent refers to the topmost category. Here we can say these three are the topmost category and the rest of everything are uh, other categories here. And also we can use the ABC classification for that. And to do that also, I use another function, which is switch statement true. If the Pareto percentage is less than or equal to 80, which is showing up here, then A. If it is less than 90, then it is B. If it is greater than that, then it is C. So that's how you can easily specify ABC classification as well in this visual calculations. All right, so the next thing here, we need to focus on the rank. So recently also they introduced about the rank function. Previously we had the rank X, but here we also have a rank function where we can able to use this inside the visual calculations. So that's also really good actually. Um, so here also we have multiple things. And now you can see it here. I have a two ranks column where the first one is showing up here ranks by category. That's the usual one. And the next one we have it here ranks by sale here. So if we sort this by accessory, it's actually showing up here by alphabetic order here on the rows here. 
and this is now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the usual thing. And it actually reset at every category level that we can set up over there. Whereas here, rank by sale is actually showing up in a different order because it is actually sort by internet sales here. So if I click here on the internet sale in the descending order, it is actually showing me the correct value. So if you also need that point of value, then you can also make use of that. So let's look into that how it is done. So first of all, I have this rank by category where I use the rank function and the rank function. Actually, we have a multiple thing, which is uh, first is price. Whether you want this to be tens or you want to be skip here. So usually that's how we used to have it at rank X. The similar applies here, but I usually go with the tenth itself. So you can have a sequence of numbers here. So tens and then we have a relation here. We'll talk about that after a while. And now we are also talking about the order by and we are all skipping here because those are all are not mandatory here. So I'm just using it here as the reset option, which is the lowest parent here. So lowest parent here, nothing but a subcategory. So every change in the category level, it will just uh, reset the value here. So that's the reason it is doing these calculations now. So if I sort this here by uh, category here, now you can see it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As simple as that. Nothing more complex here. But if we go to this rank by sale here, we have a little different here. But still, I'm using the rank function itself. But whereas we have seen the running sum, we need to use a different function window function here. But here in the rank itself, we can able to manipulate the data here. So here what I'm using up now rank and then I'm using the tens here. And after that, I'm using the order by function, which I'm using order by internet cell descending order. It's the same way how we do on how we did for the windows function. So right now it is sorting it by descending order based on the internet sales. And then I have this here partition by. So the beauty of this one is if you are using order by, then you have to use the partition by, then only it will work. But if you use the order by and then if you use the reset option, it will not work. Either of these two things only work. If you are combining these two things, then it will not work on your case. And also if you notice, I have just removed the rows from here in this part because if you use the rows, then only the reset will work. If you use rows and partition by, then it will not work for you in both the cases. So if you are using order by and partition by, then remove the rows here. It will be by default rows itself, like all selected. And here the tens and then order by, and then I'm using this partition by, so that it can reset at every partition level based on the category here. Uh, so here we don't need to mention about highest parent or lowest parent. We had to mention the column name here. So that's the thing. And while doing these things, what it actually does is it's actually sorting it by internet sale. And then I'm getting this value here based on the descending order here. So 245 is 1, 225 is 2, 56 is 3 here in this one. Whereas for the clothing, there see 172 is 1, 71 short is 2, and waist is 3 here. So that's how it actually works now. So this is how you can able to use the rank and then window functions in order to manipulate your data based on your requirement. By default, it will be by the rows or like a category or subcategory, whatever you are adding up over there. But here in this case, uh, if you want to change based on your requirement, like internet sales or quantity and ascending or descending order, you can also make use of that. All right, so let, let's have a without uh, further delay. Let's uh, look into this one, uh, the rank function. So here in the rank function, we have the relations. It is also the same way how we used to have it for the window functions. By default, it will be all selected here. All right, and uh, what others we have it here and match by and then we yeah, this actually it is not useful on the visual calculation. The series is basically focused on the visual calculation, so I'm not covered about that. If you want to know more detail about the rank and the window functions, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to cover a video on that topic as well. All right, so this is the second part of this video, so I hope you enjoyed the sessions. If you learn something new, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. But make sure to turn on the notification on our devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.